We're gonna get dark in the wheat, so we better get going. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and here we have from Leonard, it's Leonard's Homebrew uh, Series, the Dunkelweizen. Now this was bottled on the 25th of May, or no, 5.2%, maybe if I actually could read that would be awesome. It was, it was bottled on the 13th of June. So I did shake, I didn't shake it up, I did disturb it a bit. Usually the, the wheat beers, the vice beers, you want the wheat, the wheat, the yeast, to be a part of the pour. Uh, yes, it does make it cloudy, but it also uh, provides flavors. Maybe I did it too rigorously, or we have an infected beer. I don't know. Let's see what we've got. It is a bit dark, even for a dunkel. Doesn't smell bad. The hints of clove and stuff like that are from the yeast. But there is a weird smell way, way back there. Almost like a burnt rubber. Hmm. I may have let this one sit out too much. I had these sitting out waiting, uh, warming up, and then I got busy doing something else and forgot I was supposed to do beer reviews. And I didn't want to put them back in the refrigerator. So like we'll get we'll get uh, filming these and we'll get to them, but wow, there is an off flavor in there definitely. So coloring is okay. Um, actually, I stand correct. It's not dark enough for a dunkel. Uh, it should be a little bit more brown than that. It has a great clove smell. The the yeast is is very noticeable. You have hints of wheat. Slight breadiness on the nose, exactly what I would expect from a wheat beer. And then a dunkel should, some of them you'll get hints of pumpernickel and stuff like that. It just depends on how they're getting it dark and what malts they're using. Um, but I don't think that's dark enough. It's like it's faded. And I, I actually had a stout once that I made years ago. Uh, and then I had a bottle, a clear bottle of it. And I, and I got pushed way in the back to where I was storing these things. And I don't know if it got hot or what, but it was months later I found it, and it was almost the color of cream soda. It was the weirdest thing. It's not like it got in the light. It was way back in the dark, but it was underneath the steps. And in the summertime, it gets very warm in there. And it was, it was like, I don't know, eight months. It was one of these I completely forgot. I was pulling the other stuff out. thought it was a bunch of empty bottles. I thought, this feels a little weird, heavy. And sure enough, there was a bottle in there. It was bizarre, and it, what was crazy about it is it, I poured it, I mean it was infected, but it smelled like a stout, but it sure didn't look like one. So, I wish I could do that on purpose. Not give it an infection, but that kind of result. But this is like, hmm, something's happened. Um, two months should not, it should not go that bad, but the coloring's gone the wrong direction, which happens sometimes. Um... But underneath was a good dunk, a, a, probably a good three and a half beer out of five. So there's a good underpinning of something. And now I gotta wipe my face. But it's gone south quite badly. Hints of vinegariness. So, but underneath it, I probably had a decent, you know, three and a half, so it'd be like a C plus, maybe a B minus beer. Uh, but it's gone, it's gone the wrong way, unfortunately. And that's, this happens uh, with homebrew. But, you know, it's one of the things, cleanliness is next to godliness when it comes to brewing. And you got to make sure everything is, everything is sanitized. I know a couple times I've cut corners and I have been bitten every time. And even times when I don't cut corners, I still get bitten. I still have bottles that explode. Um, you know, I even give out to friends and they, you know, they tell me hey, it spewed on them. I haven't had a bottle spew on me, but I have had multiple fermenters spew on me. Uh, and create messes but yeah it's it's got a slight infection in it sorry Leonard but underneath I think it's a three and a half beer I'd love to try this again when it's fresh uh, especially when you've got the the recipe zeroed in it should be darker brown than this it should be more of a brownish color this is kind of a dirty red almost a deep amber is what you can really see when you hold it up and because uh, on the edges you've got some redness there but it should stay when I do this it should still be dark brown 
with a very uh, much a little bit of deep red on the edges but it isn't so it's gone way uh, on the coloring too but underneath I think it's a three and a half let's have this again next time you make some let me know and maybe I'll have it even fresher all right so thanks for stopping by thanks for clicking like thanks for sharing thanks Leonard for sending me some homebrew to review and get feedback and I hope to return the favor soon I mean I made some not too long ago but I've got to get back to brewing I've got to just stop piddle farting my weekends away so all right thank you very much and we'll see you later goodbye You're right, I forgot cheese that time.